I just want to give God thanks and praise. Um, welcome back to all my listeners. Um, just want to give God thanks and praise for your support in 2017, um, 2018, 57, 78, 2018. A time of grace, a time of completion, a time of new beginning, birth, death, spiritual perfection. Um, God, people that go through a lot of problems will rest from their enemies. Uh, we're going to be seeing redemption um, taking place, um, circumcision, jubilee, and it's also going to be a holy time. Uh, all eyes must be on the, the, the church and all eyes must be on Israel. And it is a time when God wants us as Christians to be watchful. We must be, you know, keep reading the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. No, you know, 2018, without a doubt, as the Lord said prophetically for all my listeners, um, it's going to be the time of horror, the R's in the Bible, restoration. It's going to be a time of renewal. It's going to be a time of revival. And it's going to be a time of refreshing, you know, for all. You know, and when we speak about restoration, it speaks about God restoring many things to the church, the bride of Christ, to his people. He's going to be restoring the word to his people. Matthew 6, 33, speak about seek ye first. And, you know, God, you know, want to bring back his people to a place where they begin to seek him again before they make any decision, begin to read the word. He's going to be restoring the doctrine of salvation by grace, you know, you know, to some, you know, quarters, the baptism of the Holy Spirit into some churches that are shut that door from the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're going to be restoring holiness again and the fear of God to the body of Christ itself. Because God preparing us, you know, the, you know for the rapture, he can come anytime. You're going to re restore the ministry gifts. You know, a lot of church, you know, don't know about the gifts and God is going to do it and true praise and true worship to the body of Christ. Now, many of us have been through some serious problem over the years, and God is ready to bring healing. Now, our team this year, regardless of what you have been through, is going to be um, Jeremiah 30, verse 17. I'm going to be reading some scripture, prophetically what the Lord said to the body of Christ, as, you know, to, as he restore us and get us ready for the rapture. Um, Jeremiah 30 verse 17 said, For I will restore health to you, and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Because they call you an outcast, saying, This is Zion, no one seeker. So the Lord is about to restore, he's, he's getting ready to restore his people, you know. Many are sick in the physical, many are sick spiritual, whether you're sick of bills and persecution, you know, some of you are listening right now, and you want to give up wherever you are, whether you're listening to Romy Radio, YouTube, Africa, um, Europe, um, the Caribbean, United States of America, God said, regardless of what you have been through, is about to restore your health, physical or emotionally. And you also gonna heal your wounds, says the Lord. Because uh, they call you outcast. Many of you when you're going through things from time to time, um different people, you know, without seeking God will quickly I remember in the Bible when Job going through his testing. And a lot of people, you know, you, you know, his friends start to, you know, criticize him that something wrong with him. And that is what normally tends to happen within the body of Christ when you are going through a process. And, you know, God said, you know, many times, you know, people will speak negative things against you without realizing what is happening. But God said, because of his name, he's about to restore you, restore your health. And you're going to be seeing supernatural miracle and healing take place within your life. The Lord wants you to understand that everything belongs to him. In Agai, he said, the silver is mine, the gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. And, you know, God is about to restore financially, you know, some stuff to you that you have lost, you know, over the years. Um, the Bible said, the thief come to kill and to steal and to destroy, but God come to give life 
abundantly and God is about to restore you in 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 Joel you know God speak about you know Joel 2 verse 25 he said and I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten amen you know some of us has been through some storm the canker worm the caterpillar the palmer worm my great army which I have sent among you um Every time God people normally sin, you know, it, 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 it opens a door so the enemy to come and ravish us. But all the, the worm, the caterpillar, you know, that have been coming against us, God said, I will restore to you the very years, the very things that seems as if it fly, you know, it fly away. Some people may say, I'm getting whole. I have no saving in my bank account. I'm getting whole. I have no children. I'm getting whole. I have no money, no, you know, it in the, the bank account. How will I manage? And God said, I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. And the same Joel 2.21, he said, Fear not to land and be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things in 2018 in your life. And Joel 2.26 said, And you shall eat in plenty. And be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who will dwell wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. So, 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 so get what? God is about to restore to you. He's going to restore to you the joy, you know. Psalm 51 verse 12 to 30 says, Restore to me the joy of thy salvation of Paul me. With thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgression thy ways, and sinners shall convert it unto me. So some people, your very joy, your salvation, you know, you have been backslidden. You know, and God called him back the backslidden. And you're going to be seeing many coming back in 2018. And a lot of people right now know that they are not at the place. And God said, I will restore to you the joy of your salvation. You're going to feel peace again. You're going to be singing again. You know, God is about to do it. He said in Ezekiel 36, 26 and 27, you know, he said, A new heart also I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues. And you shall keep my judgment and do them, said the Lord God Almighty. So God shall restore your health. He shall restore your joy. He shall give you a new heart. He shall turn around your situation around you. Many, you know, many people want to give up. And, but God said, do not. Um, your freedom coming back. You know, God going to break yoke. Isaiah 58 verse 6 said, It's not this fast as you fast. I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness and to undo every burden and let the oppressor go free and break every yoke. So God is about to break yoke. Right in Deuteronomy 30 verse 3 in 2018, he said that, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion unto thee and I will return and gather thee from all nations. Amen. Whether thy Lord, thy God, has scattered thee, scattered thee. Now, God is about to restore you to your inheritance. Each time we see within the Bible, land, amen, it, it speaks about inheritance. So God is going to re re restore you wherever you scatter. Amen? He's going to restore your health. He's going to break the bondage that keep you in captivity. The addiction, it's going that's one of the promise that God is about to do in 2018. He's about to restore your vision. He's about to restore the prosperity. Amen. So we just want to thank the Lord. We just want to thank the Holy Spirit who is in charge. And remember, when God restore you, He's restoring you that you can be a blessing to others. When Job pray for his friends, God will restore Job. And, you know, you know, Job has lost a lot. But God said, he gave him twice. Amen. And that is what God going to be doing in 2018 for us. The year of the hours, I call it restoration, restitution. And we're going to be repentance. And all the hours, fresh oil is about to come forth. Reconciliation. 
Some of you, your family going to call you. And just like also the Lord it in the book of Kings where there were four lepers and God allowed them by faith. You hear me? They were unclean. They were cast out. And God allowed by, them by faith to move by faith. And as they move by faith, not just that they restore, but the entire um, Israel were restored through their faithfulness in a time of famine. So I just want to give God thanks and praise to all our listeners. God bless you all for your prayer. God bless you for your support. And remember, 2018, the year of also harvest, the year of restoration, the year of renewal, the year of revival. And God bless you all. From Apostle Steve Liston and restoration, all the restoration family. From also Pastor Michelle, my wife, and children, Anna, um, Shevado, and Joshua. God bless you all. 2018, the year of restoration. <laughs>